What is up guys, welcome back to, you guessed it, another unboxing of a Mr. Tackle Box. This one is the mother load. I forgot where I bought this. I thought I bought this at Dick's. I mentioned it in a different video, but I don't think I did. I think I got this at Shop Carl's around Black Friday time. I think that's where I got it. I bought, yeah, I bought this because it was really cheap. And I also bought, they had um, an eight pack of Guggen Squad, the frogs. There's like 20 bucks and you get like eight frogs. So that's what this is. Got all of these. Yeah. yeah, there's eight of them in here. So you get, it came with uh, two of the mini filthy frogs and it came with six of the, just the normal size ones. Now I bought this because I use a lot of frogs where I live. The ponds, they work pretty good in the ponds where I'm at. And these are normally, I think they're like six to $8 a piece where I live. Um, I don't know if that's the same everywhere, but eight of them, eight of these frogs was, I think it was $20. So it's whether you like Guggen Squad or not, uh, 20 bucks for eight, eight frogs like this, that's a good deal. Couldn't pass it up. So I get this when I get the mother load. These are awesome. I did use these. This is not just kind of one of those things I toss out back in a bin. I use these. They're great. Back to the box at hand. Mr. Top Box mother load. These are, like all of them, they're hit or miss. You're probably gonna open this up and you're gonna get like four or five different types of soft baits of brands you've never heard of. And you'll get like a couple good hard baits and one really good hard bait. Pretty much usually how it goes. Um, let's get into it. Um, guys, if you haven't already, hit that like button for me. It really does something, allegedly with the algorithm. YouTube says it's a good thing. Maybe it is, I don't know. Hit that like button for me. All right, that'd be great. Get the sucker open. Oh, let me move my cup. I don't want to spill that. All right, go. Oh, you got a box in a box. Come on. Come on. Hold on. Oh, you know what? Here, I'll cut the other box open. Who puts a box in a box? Honestly, who throws a shoe? Honestly. Jesus, what is this? Gorilla tape? Christ. All right, here we go. Box in the box is open. Ooh. All right, you know what? There's some good baits in this one. Oh, I like this one. This is actually pretty decent compared to the last time I opened one of these things. All right, let's get the crap out of the way first. Um, get a little book here. Tips and tricks. Yay. Carl's Amazing Baits. Just... Some soft baits, Cinco Worms. They ain't bad. I don't know. I'm not going to use them. I'm, I got some soft baits over there. They're right there. Black and blue. Can't go wrong. Especially where I live. Uh, yep, here we go. 10,000 fish. Zuki bug? Looks kind of like a craw with a... I don't know. It looks like a dragon. Look at those things. Look like little, looks like a dragon in there. Rigging. Texas Ray Crown Rig. EWG. Okay. I mean, that's what they kind of look like right there. What is that? Interesting. Interesting. I, I like it. I'm not going to use it. I like how it looks. Uh, here we go. Got the hooks. You can use these hooks with probably those worms. Okay, there you go. Sticker. Oh, you back in there. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this box. It's pretty decent. Look at this one. This is actually a good looking bait. Jinko Fishing. Oh, yeah. This company, their baits, I've never seen them in a store, but... The, the paint job and the design on these is always really nice. This is just just a sp little spoonbill there. Spoonbill. Why did I say spoonbill? It's not what it is. I don't know why I said that. But that's what it is. Always really good looking baits from this company. I've never seen them in stores, but every time I get in here, I'm like, whoa. Very nice. I dig it. My Buka Bluegill. These are like 15 bucks a whack. I actually have a few of these. They're pretty cool. They're, they actually have great move in the water. I've got some like, this is... Looks like a baby bass. Oh, a natural gill. Oh, it is. So I've got one that's a bass. i got some rainbow trout one, some shad. These are cool. These are great baits. I use these. What is this? Biospawn. Oh, it's a little lipless crankbait. It's a craw. That's a cool. I've never, I've never got one of those before. Usually when you get a biospawn in one of these box, it's some sort of soft bait. I like this. Rattlebot craw. That looks really good. Another clickbait. I think you get... A Guggen clickbait, pretty much in every box now. I, I just think that's just a staple. 
Um, I don't, I've never used these. I got a bunch of them. I got another box over there. It's got one in it, but it, it, whatever. Yeah, just a little jig. Nothing special. That'll go in the uh, never going to use bin out back. Oh, you got a mini revolver. Another, another ghost guild color. The last box with the juggernaut had the regular revolver and also a ghost guild. This one I feel like would probably work better. It's a little small. I think the regular revolver, they're pretty big. Um, I think this one might work better. Definitely use this one. Last but not least, I've got so many of these. The Weston uh, Spot On Twin Turbo. Same color, same bait. I bet I have half a dozen of these things. I They're just really, they're like, the Weston baits are like this other one. Uh, the Jenko Fishing ones. They always have great colors. They always, they're good looking baits. I don't know, like, I've never seen them in stores. Maybe it's just where I live. But the baits, they always look great. They always look really nice. I mean, this thing looks really cool. And I've never used them. I just have a bunch of them. I need to start donating some of this stuff. Do like some sort of like video giveaway. Because I have hundreds of baits out back that I'm never ever gonna use. Cause I just keep buying these boxes and I just open them, throw them in the bin out back and call it a day. I gotta do something with them because I've got too many. And they could probably go to use. Somebody can put some use to them. Uh, but yeah. Well that's gonna do it guys. This actually wasn't a bad one. I think the last time I got one of these mother load boxes, oh, excuse me, it was kind of, I don't think there was anything good. I don't remember getting anything good. This one was actually had some really good stuff. I'm really surprised there was only one package of soft baits. Usually it's, you know, 50% or more soft baits, which is what I was expecting. Oh, two, I'm sorry, the two of them, these here. Um, but yeah, I mean, you got some great baits. This Biospawn Rattlebot Craw, that's a nice one. Um, I really like this this one from uh, Jenko Fishing. That's a good looking bait. The Western one, I have a bunch of these. I Blecking every time. Um, yep, the Mike Buka, I use these. These are great. Uh, the smallmouth love these here. I don't catch a bit large with them, but the smallmouth, I always had luck with those. And I'm definitely gonna use the mini revolver in Ghost Gill. That's good looking bait too. Not too bad, guys. What do you think? Uh, comment down below. Uh, like the video, you know, all that good stuff. Oh, and leave in the comments uh, if you guys, again, if you wanna see some sort of like giveaway or any ideas of what I can do with all the baits out back because there's a lot of them um, and they're just going to waste. They're just collecting dust. Um, I'm a collector uh, or um, I'm a hoarder when it comes to fishing lures and things. I got too many. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video guys. Like, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Hopefully I can see you guys at the next video. Thank you.